Hi, Bob Cundiff with you, Chief Servant of the Ohio Conference. I want to share a story with you that not too many people have heard. When the pandemic broke in this winter and the spring of 2020, many conference administrators were contacting the North American Division and asking for counsel of how it is that we do our work in this new economic fabric of the time of COVID. Well, the division called a meeting of conference presidents and they said, you keep asking us what you're supposed to do. We advise you to develop three new budgets. The first budget, you should assume a 10% deficit in tithe from whatever you received in 2019. Your second budget should assume a 20% deficit. And your third budget should assume a 30% deficit in tithe. That would mean that you're gonna furlough and you're gonna terminate numerous employees pastors, teachers, office workers, and there's a whole lot of children that are not gonna have the benefit of receiving a Seventh-day Adventist education. Let me tell you what no one said at this meeting that took place in the spring of 2020. Nobody said, get ready for a huge increase in tithe and watch how God is going to work and watch how his people are going to press together and how something unprecedented is going to take place even in the midst of a global pandemic. In 2019, we had 12,274 members. In 2020, we had 12,565 members. But in 2021, records were beaten, 829 new souls. It gives us then a total of 13,292 members. God has really been blessing us here in the Ohio Conference. As of the third Sabbath of January, we have had more than 75 new members surrendering their lives to Jesus through baptism. We have ran out of words to describe the amazing things that God is doing in our conference. And when we look at tithe giving, we're experiencing a miracle the size of the Red Sea being opened. When we close 2021, we did it with $15.2 million in tithe received. This is close to 17% of tithe increase uh, compared to 2020, and the ninth consecutive year that the conference is having an increase. And the best thing is this is not just one church, uh, just a few churches. This is generally increase in the churches across our conference. We can only say to God be the glory and thank you for your faithfulness and generosity. God has blessed us in tremendous ways. And you, the constituents of the Ohio Conference, you have been faithful. You have stepped up to the plate and you have answered the call. You know, the prophetess tells us that we need to press together, to press together as a people so that we can continue to do mission, that we can be on point and on task with mission here in the Ohio Conference. We love you and appreciate you. We value you and your faithfulness to the mission of the Ohio Conference. Thank you, each one.